everybody welcome back to the world championships this is the finals this is doyon lee coming from south korea been very exceptional um these couple of competitions and this year is his year to do very well he already won one boulder world cup let's see if he can take on the world championships and secure a spot at the olympics doyon lee comes in with the two hand Hampers up to the right. We saw a similar move in the semi final. Hangs on with three finger drag. Comes in cross with the left hand. Matches with the left hand. Now he has to put his feet. Find a stronger base for this mental. Oh, didn't quite really commit there. Now adjusting a little bit. Coming just like under thunder clean jib first. How's he gonna square up for the top? Come on, Doyon Lee. Oh, goes powerful. Oh, doesn't stick it though. Oh, takes a tumble. That's a quiet. Oh, how would anybody try to figure that out? I think that's really, really thin. You definitely can't flip back to the crimp because that's too small. 45 seconds left on the clock. Doyen Lee comes in here, ready for the campus, preparing herself. Launches to the right. Gets his three-finger drag on. Presses his left foot up. His left lead's almost hitting his own face. Oh my goodness, that slope was worse than I thought. <laughs> on this angle, you can really see. Oh, my like skin is slipping. His skin is really taking a beating from here. Has to press up to this tumbler cling. Trans transforms into a straight shoulder press. Now his weight is quite balanced, but how does he go for the top? Come on, do your lead, take it! <laughs> he sticks this time. Well done, my friend. Match the slug now. He is currently, well... According to the ELO ranks, if you use the statistics, he is the uh, favorite and he's the current rank number one according to ELO rank. Um, ELO rank is how difficult the boulders are comparative to um, how whether he flashed it or not. So the higher the ELO, the harder the boulder is because less people um, will, will top it. Oh my god, he just completely just reached for the left. Oh, okay. Okay, so he presses to the right. He just, he just reached. Oh, so a little toe hook there. Underneath with his right foot. Mm. Now, this is the man I'm rooting for, Kokoro Fuji. He had a really disastrous year. So, I really want him to do super well in this World Championships. He really deserves a spot in the Olympics, man. And this man has been fighting so hard. In fact, I, I honestly think he actually deserves to go into the previous Olympics. Uh, unfortunately, the selection process was a bit weird. Choosing Kai Harada, not the best choice. Um, not taking anything away from him, he deserved his position. But I think Fukuro Fuji would have been the better choice to pick. So is he going to do match these styles? Is he going to go for a more dynamic Dohyun Lee style? He's eyeing it up. He thinks he wants a soft feet. Oh, okay. He's kind of high up on his right foot press. So he is going for the more dynamic. Rook and he, hold on. Ooh. Brings his left foot out. Comes in inside for the mantle. Oh, this mantle is not as easy as it looks, man. It looks actually tough. Now, straight to his right hand. He brings his right foot higher. He's standing quite high. He's, he doesn't, he's kind of unsure what he wants to do with his right foot. He wants to swap first. Oh, he wants to toe hook the top first. Oh, I don't think that's kind of possible. It's just a little bit too high. He's going for it again. Oh, no. But Putting his left foot on, he is the number one rank coming into this finals. Mikhail Mawen from France. He is we're well, rocking a super cool afro. Maybe that helps you climb <laughs> because it's like a cloud on your head. Um, and he's eyeing up the top. Does he go straight forward? Oh, he barely hangs on. He makes it as a flash for Mikhail Mawen. So strong. Yo, that was sick. I didn't think he would have. He, I didn't think he would stick it. That's cool, man. Oh, my mistake. Sorato is running number one. <laughs> okay, Sorato coming in here. Men's number one. Let's see what he does. He catches that sloper not so well. Now he adjusts for the middle. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Oh my goodness. He's so light and strong. And Oh, what? He doesn't put his left foot up yet. He actually goes in later. Campus is mostly through. Comes in with... A sloper match comes in from this mental press, actually mentaling a little bit of the side of that volume, pressing out. Oh, if he does it exactly like match D. That's so curious. Some of them make it so easy, some of them had to like dino to it. Now there's a lot on the line there. Olympic spots on the line. There are three Olympic spots on the line. So actually the boulder this boulder competition is kind of like the 
um, qualifications for the Boulder and Lead. Because the Olympics is a Boulder and Lead format. This now, this is the Boulder only finals, but they will use the position of the Boulder only and Lead only as qualification to go into like the semifinals of the combined uh, Olympic format. So they need to do well in this and they're fighting for placements to do to get into the Boulder and Lee competition. So there's a lot on the line here. Adam Ondra barely made it into the semifinals, but he did not, um, was not able to get into the finals. He just missed by, a, I think, one or two placements. So Dorian Lee here is kind of finding a tricky situation. Oh, this slap is a little bit tricky. And he's not sure how to weigh his right foot because if you don't weigh your right foot right, he's going to slip on the right foot very well, a lot. And we don't know where the texture part is. Oh, okay, the right foot now is actually a jib. He does manage to find it. How are you going to reach over this top? Those tops kind of blind. This crimp is blind. He managed just to finish it. His arms are nice, wide open, like a cross position. That's how you find balance when you do no hand climbs because your feet are very, you know, very close together. doesn't give you that nice base of support. So you have to do that with your hands. He somehow crosses and hangs on. Brings the right foot across the top hole. So close within reach. But he needs to do a couple of things. He's thinking of swapping feet first. A little bit risky. Somehow does not feel a bundle position. I would think he would bundle there. He needs to find the whole part of that texture. Oh, somehow manages to detach. Oh, that was so sick. Go for G. Ali, Ali, come on, into the zone, yes, slowly stepping across, actually as the audience right, we don't know where the texture part is, so we don't know what they're standing on, how difficult it is, you know, I just don't, not, not the biggest fan of these holes, yes, these are cool for, um, you know, being different and it's innovative and such like that, but I, I just personally want to see where the texture part is as a part of the audience, you know. I guess we can, we, I guess the, the whole idea is that we, we, the audience, also don't know and we are discovering it with the athletes as well. The Japanese selectors are super, super like vigilant on their own athletes and it's super critical on them, so it's being, it's very scary to be a Japanese athlete. Okay, he's tried to sort feet, didn't find the right balance there. Oh, he's trying to teeter across first. Oh, it doesn't. He needs to get the right foot over to the jib. He doesn't really find it. He's actually going on top. Maybe he doesn't see the jib. Oh, he's, he's kind of ignoring the jib as a whole. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. I don't think he sees the jib. Oh my god. He's stepping on the dual text. Oh my god. I think he doesn't see the jib. Into the zone now, a better footwork now, a lot, a lot more control, a lot more with purpose. Um, very, very well done. He's eyeing out the right foot with the right jib. He does get some vision out of it. His right fingers are really struggling. Oh my goodness, that jib is not the worst, I would say, but the move it demands from here is tricky. Beautiful, coming in, accurate. According to the full four fingers on there, beautiful. He's in full control. Can he match the top? He needs to take his time. Ooh, he can. The subtle little balance point there. He almost slipped. Oh, he doesn't bump his head. Oh my goodness. Does it gonna match? Yes. Let's go. Gaston. I don't think he has enough reach though. Yeah, he's kind of had to adjust. He's doing it again. Swing it in. I don't know what he's doing, but he's making it work. <laughs> Comes in. Can he find the jib first go? Yes, he does. Now, what is he thinking? He has to bring his left foot across, or is he going to do a little bit of a shimmy or soft feet? Oh, he's kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah. He's thinking of going back. He's not sure what to do. He has to decide, though. I think he's thinking of going across. Oh, belly holding the barn door. Let's go, bumping in right hand. He's a beast. He's un actually unstoppable. Sorato Anraku. Sigh of relief as he matches the top. He Come on, do you only two minutes thirty seconds left on the clock? Comes in. Oh, oh doesn't really quite get there. His hands kind of in the way, a bit jarred. He knows what he needs to do. Oh, he somehow manages to palm quite nicely into the undercling. He decided to face in again, but he knows the jib is there. Oh my goodness, this is so bad for your shoulders. Come on, do you only can you do it? Oh, you have to face out. Because you need your pecs to kind of push you, push you 
back in backwards, you know, <laughs> your back muscles don't do that very well. Uh, so it doesn't get the same angle as if you were face, facing out. So 30 seconds left on the clock. Will he stick with, with his facing in or will he stay facing out? I'm hoping he started it well. Hopefully the judges didn't catch that. Okay, now he's facing out. Come on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You gotta figure it out. Commit. Oh, the feet are really bad. That's why he was facing in. Oh, I see. I understand now. You just have to do it, brother. You just have to do it, brother. Oh, he gets it. Nice second left. Come on. He needs to get the zone. He gets the zone. No, 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 no. Okay, at least he gets the zone. At least he gets the zone. He needs to get the zone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, at least he leaves with something. At least he leaves with a score. Oh, man. Facing out was the way. Damn his ability to do it but you know in a competition setting especially in the finals world there's always precision involved so he needs to be able to stay calm okay oh he's actually standing here oh he's f he knows what to do oh big press up let's go he has a lot of time to go for the top secures the zone first very smart just should give him that now he has to unravel himself now oh decided to go turn rotate left to palm press very, very smart. Looking for the left hand jib. Anything to stabilize himself. Yes, come on, Meshdi. Take your time. Don't rush this. Don't rush this. He should be okay. Now he's pressing up to the top. How is he going to match that? Oh, that's a really bad... That's a really bad jib. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. Oh, my God. He does it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mikhail Mawem. Coming in from the press, he's thinking of fixing the wall. Okay, never mind. It's all right. You got, they gotta learn. You know, they gotta learn. Oh, oh, okay. Now he thinks better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The French team should be familiar with this movement now. Come on, man. He's a bit unsure. He's a bit scared. Oh, he somehow makes it work. He doesn't get the best launch of his feet, but somehow is still so strong, being able to steady himself. He's incredible. What an incredible athlete. Like, he's so strong, actually, you know. I think he's actually one of the strongest, like, like, climbers that not, like, not, not finger strength related, like, strength. He's probably one, like, in terms of body position, so... Now he really has to take his time here and not screw this up. Two minutes on the left on the clock. He has plenty of time. He's a little bit uncomfortable though. Yes, he reaches around for the G, but he needs to get that match. Yes, <laughs> matching with the finger, baby. That's what we do. The little top for the Frenchman. Yeah, Ale, Ale, Ale. Très bien. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, Sorato Anraku here. See, he's starting off like the starting hole with a very narrow feet position and that doesn't get him the uh, angle of attack of his hips quite well. Yeah, he's... He, it doesn't seem like he's very experienced in this kind of sideline coordination quite well, which is... Which I'm very surprised about. Hmm. Tomorrow Night's Locking is so good at this and he should have learned a thing or two from him, but it doesn't seem like he quite sees the light. So Rato now coming in. Yeah, his, his right foot is stepping too early into the volume. This is a bit troubling for Sorato. Oh, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Does he see it though? Does he see it? No, he does not see it. He's gonna do this face in way. God, yeah, he's trying to face this, he's trying to face out a little bit. He should get the clue. No, no clue from here. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. A huge metal campus by Nikolai Uzni. Holy sheesh. I don't think there's any texture on these guys. Chalks up, takes his time, swings to the top. He needs to maybe swing over to balance himself. Yeah, left foot, right foot, flag, and match. Here we go, nice, nice. There's like no, not much friction there. Oh, we almost got it though. Yeah, look at him, he's like not chalking up. He's actually cleaning his hands. Huh, not sure if that will work, but it's worth a try, my brother. 
It's worth a try. I'm not sure why he's blowing his hands, but uh, maybe to just yeah, yeah, you probably need to dry off the, the wetness, but Okay, come on Match D. If he does this, he'll be guaranteed a silver medal! Oh he does get the silver No chalk works, dude. No chalk works. Maybe had maybe he did have a little bit of chalk. Oh now he chalks up. Oh he brought his chalk back with him. Chalks back for the second half. That's Great idea. Left and oh no, he dropped it. He dropped it. No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting ready. Getting ready. Is it? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good, my brother. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Come on. You come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Liquid shot. I guess liquid shot works. Eyes up to the top. Get the top. That's why he's not. Oh no, top holes are so bad. But he knows. He knows. Yeah, I think he won. I think he already won. Oh, well done, Mikama Wem. He knows he already won, but he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it again. The lights are still going on though, but okay. 30 seconds left. He already won because he hit the zone. So, Mikama Wem, for glory. For honor. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so close. So close. He's already celebrating already. 